How to design punching shear links. The design of punching shear links is one of the tricky parts of structural element design. Its design and detailing should be precise as it contributes to the safety of the structure, particularly in the design of the slab. This video will show you how to design punching shear links using the SAFE program, with the aid of another structural program that you can download for free. But before proceeding further, kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And hit the notification bell for you to be updated in our future uploads. After we run the SAFE model, go to Display. Show Punching Shear Design. The model will then display the punching shear capacity ratios shear reinforcement. Investigate the results. Notice that each column shows the punching shear capacity ratio. If the ratio exceeds 1, then check the column for a need of punching shear links. There is no need to check for columns having a ratio of less than 1, and those having NC which means not calculated. Mark on the plan, the columns having more than one ratio, so that it is easier for you to locate the columns which we are going to check. Once the marking has been done, let us now check and design each location of the column for punching shear links. Let us try one column to show you how it is done. Right click on the column, and the design details showing the design data necessary for check and design will appear. You will be needing the maximum moment and shear force result for the shear link design. These stresses, together with the column dimension and slab thickness, is needed for punching shear links design. You can use any method either manually or using a design spreadsheet on how to design the punching shear links. If you have your own spreadsheet or any structural software on how the punching shear links are being designed, that would be fine. Hence, we will use the RCMOC builder in this example. Grab and download this software for free which was linked to the description below. Once installed, open the punching option. Input the design parameters accordingly. Like the column dimension, slab thickness, material properties, and the applied shear and moment forces taken from the safe results. Once inputted, press the check punching button, and the distribution of the punching reinforcement window will appear. Input the primary and secondary stirrups legs and spacing. Click the check input and apply. And the data will be validated by the program, along with the results showing the summary of the required shear reinforcement to use. You can print the report option for any detailed calculations. Interpretation and detailing of punching shear links. The schedule of shear link reinforcement is depending on the designer on how he or she will present it in the structural drawing. However, the recommended details by the code should be laid at the site, according to the presented sketch as shown.
What do you think about this video? If you learned something new, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.